What is going on everybody? How's it going? It's Super Turtle here today with a stone block video. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Uh, as you can see today guys, we're going to be getting into the Awakened Draconium. Uh, we have made the power, as you can tell from last episode. And we got all this cool stuff set up and this will be the rest of our Draconic Evolution room. Uh, so guys, I hope you do enjoy the clip. I will see you later in the video. It won't even be like it's gone, whatever. Just enjoy it! <laughs> Alright, so this over here, guys, is going to be our Draconic Evolution room. Uh, we're going to go ahead and knock this out today, as you could tell from the intro clip that I have yet to record in real time. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and we need to get this all here. Um, we need to grab some nether stars and uses these guys. So, oh, we can only make one. Well, looks like we're going hunting for some guests. All right, so we're hunting ghasts in here, guys, and I think I'm gonna farm up a few of these guys. We're gonna make some ghast uh, seeds because having to do this a heck ton of times is going to be quite annoying, and it already is. So as you can see, we're up to three, uh, and I need a total of eight. So I'm gonna be here killing these guys, and I'll come back when we make some ghast seeds. All right, so we've got our, oops, two there, ghast seed made up perfect let's go ahead and give it a permanent home actually we're gonna need some fertilizer hopefully and this will start our gassed tears and is this yeah you can so this grows this stuff we're just gonna grow it a bit i don't think we get any seeds from this um, but eventually the seeds will pop up, which will be a good sign. Okay. And so we got 26 of those, so we can make, we can fight the Ender Dragon a few times. Perfect. Okay, so to make these end crystals, let's go ahead. There we go. Okay, so we can fight the Ender Dragon twice. Let's grab our bow. <gasps> Oh, that's right, I put it in here. I was about to go, oh no, where did I put that thing? And then we need our arrows. Oop, got a big lag spike. All right, now let's go to the end and give him a fight. All right, boom. Oh boy, oh boy. Just look at all the Endermen. Just look at them all. Haha, -ha, Shenron, I summon you forth. Right now, I believe he's a quite a bit more tougher, but we will go ahead and kill him. Alright, and now we just got one more fight. Yay! Ta-da! Alright, we just got back from fighting both of the Ender Dragons, and we did get quite a bit of good stuff. These uh, Dragon Scales make some pretty good, pretty good armor. But we unfortunately won't be needing that, and friend deer. Huh. Interesting. I didn't uh, kill any of those guys. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we did get these infinity booster cards, which will come in effect later. Uh, but let's grab our other dragon heart. Like so. Ta-da. And then here. <gasps> we can make an awakened draconium crux. We could get, oh yes. Because this is what we need. Uh, we need to go ahead and make up some fusion crafters. All right, fusion crafter. Do we have any of those left? I don't think we do. <gasps> Am I all out? Okay. Yeah, so this is the whole reason we set that system up a few episodes ago, if you guys do remember. We should have some in here. Oh yeah. We got plenty. Soon I'll eventually pipe that into our system, but until then, uh, what this will do. And we can't do that one. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. So we should already be able to make at least some of these. Make three of them for now. Okay, we got our fusion crafter. Now we do need to make the basic ones, huh? Darn. Two, three, yeah, we're gonna need to make a lot of these bad boys. I'd love to have a stack going already, but I didn't think this far ahead. Um, so we're gonna need at least 10. 
Uh, so it'll be five on each side. So let's see, how do you divide five? Perfect, five works pretty good. Um, so then I think we have everything we need, but we're gonna need to get power over there. So let's go ahead and make a, some power cells. All right, we'll just make two of these. Oh no, right out of the things in the middle. Ta-da, okay, and then we'll make two of these. All right, and then we will link these ones up to the circuit we've got back here. Link, okay. And then let's see about getting these cables hooked up right. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use these, let's see if we can use these cryo-stable gyos. If so, these things are freaking awesome. They they move infinite RF, if that makes sense. Doesn't really make sense, but just go with it. Uh, so we're gonna punch this into the wall. Like so, and then one on each side. And we put that in the middle with the fusion crafter in the center. And we're actually gonna punch out one more. Like so, and then we're gonna put our crafters here. That scared me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that sound, I was like, I don't know what that is. Oh, hold up. Yeah, this looks better, right? I think. Oh, we need... We need at least one more. Fusion, ha! Okay, we need at least one more. Let's get some more draconium. There we go. But I was I honestly like kind of worried there for a second. Not gonna lie. Okay. Cool thing is we'll be able to get uh, awakened draconium seeds going, which is amazing. Okay. Actually, what do we need to start upgrading the fusion crafter? We need a wyvern core. That's simple to make. everything for that we do we do have everything for a wyvern core three four five six seven eight nine ten oh we just ran out of them <laughs> i was hoping we wouldn't okay and then we need 20 of these okay that's not too hard here let me, let me get everything crafted up i'll be right back all right so let's set up the power system here in the back i think this will work out in our favor hopefully We'll just knock it out too, just in case, so that way we have some room. And let's go ahead here, grab our power cells, like so. Sweet, they do connect into the back. These things look amazing, by the way. So place that there. Always wanted to use these, like always. Okay, link you up, link you up. Out on all sides, out on all sides. Yeah. Yeah. I think these are all working. There's no way to really tell until you shove one of these bad boys in here. All right, so let's see. We need 10 items here. We need 10 items here. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you put anything. It just has to be like 10 items. We will let's see how many. One, two, three, four. Okay. Divide these up into five. Yeah, let's do five. Let's divide them up into four. Just kidding. We're going to do five. Again, these don't... Oh, great. These don't matter where they go. Uh, yep, that's it. Perfect. Oh, and it is charging it up. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. That took a lot of power. <laughs> So I gotta do this 10 times, so I'm gonna keep doing this and I'll be back once they're all done. All right guys, so it's time to make the draconium blocks. We're gonna go ahead and do this. I uh, got all of these upgraded to the wyvern tier. So if we go ahead and throw these in here, and then one, here, let's get all these out of our inventory. Two, three, 
four, five, six. Bam. So that should show up. Yep. Okay. Oh, wow. That does four. I only thought it did one. Oh, man. This is going to be great. Okay. How much power is that taking out of our system? All of it. Taking all of it out. I don't think we have the power to support making one of these. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm going to be here for a bit. It's only at 3% power. I'll see you guys in a, in a while. Okay, so super weird thing that I've never done before in a video. Between this clip and the previous one, I actually went and recorded Stoneblock episode 26 because we needed to go ahead and make our reactor. Uh, as you can tell from the beginning of 27, the reactor isn't there, now it's there, and now we're actually able to make enough power to do this. Unfortunately, though, this isn't good enough, because that only does 5,000 RF per tick, and then we're producing 50,000 RF per tick with that. So as you can tell, there's quite a, there's a bit of a bottleneck. Um, hold up. All right, so I got this Awakened Draconium. We're going to go ahead and make some Awakened Draconium seeds. And you here. So we have the seeds already, but to, let's see, uses here. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, so we're going to need to make this. And I think we have everything for it. Um, what was that? Hey, hey, hold up. Insanium. How much insanium do we have? We, we, oh, we have a block of insanium. Okay, so the cool thing is, is because of the farm the wither farm we are getting a heck ton of supremium essence which is i'm gonna leave it running for a while we're gonna get up to like a hundred thousand of that and we'll probably end up just shutting it off because our our flowers will um take priority over that and it probably won't need it anymore uh let's see what are we looking for again oh yeah we need the core what are they called infusion crystal not not a core Maybe that's why I couldn't find it a little bit ago. That makes sense. Okay, and in order to make the essence, just go like that and call it good. We have so much of it, it's so awesome. All right, and then, is that it? I need two of them, okay. All right, and bada bing, bada boom. Awakened Draconium seeds are in the works. Now, we do need to probably set up a few more auto-crafters behind our system so we can handle all the stuff coming in. Uh, or we might just throw it into that spot. Now, where are you? Oh, I might have put it back in my system. Let's go have it. Let's go have a wee look, shall we? All right. Yep, awakened draconium seeds. Perfection. Okay, so we have... Gas seeds growing in the back here. Steel seeds are on the side. Uh, we're going to replace the steel seeds with these bad boys. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, put the dirt back. Grab the unbreakable supremium hoe. Put it back. And ta-da! We got the draconium seeds working, which is flipping amazing, guys. I'm so excited because that is so cool. Okay, so get that out of our system here. And, okay, so we have Awakened Draconium Ingots. Now, this thing should have finished crafting. Let's go have a look. This is all we have for Draconium right now, unfortunately. And how are we doing? 70%. So, as you can see, it works. We're easily keeping up with all of our power demands. Uh, power won't be an issue for a while. How many? Wait, I went AFK again last night. Let's see how many. 48 buckets. Okay. So we got that thing filled with gel and cryothium. I am so excited. That is awesome. It is awesome. So awesome. Okay. So at Draconic Evolution. Okay. So we need to probably get into the Wyvern tier. And to do that, we're probably going to need to get this into our system. A way of like automating. Because we have it automated, we just don't have it automated to smelt. And that's a big issue. Such a big issue. Too big, too big to comprehend. Okay. So we have 30 ingots in total. And as you can see, we're getting more, which is always a good thing. Okay. Let me think here about our first steps, what we're going to need. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make the armor right now. Uh, we need to make a few of these, actually. One, two, three, four of them. Oop, we are out of those. Do I need those? I might, maybe. I don't know, probably not. Okay, but we'll be fine. I hear a zombie pigman. He should not be here. <gasps> no, I made two of the chess pieces. I'm an idiot. Why did I have an extra chess piece in there? That doesn't make any sense. Why did I do that? I, ah, oh, man. I feel stupid. We need the boots now. <sighs> so much aggravation in my voice. Okay. So we have the full iron, or full, oh, hi. Okay, so we, oh, we got a quest? I didn't know there was a quest involved with that. Let's see, Draconic Evolution. Oh, hey, just one loot chest? Wow, that's kind of stupid. Bunch of mirrors. Oh, wow, those are some good mirrors. We will use those in the future because we got to do a quest with them. Okie doke. So to make the higher tier armor, what do we need to do? Oh, boy. <laughs> we got a... Uh, we've got some crafting to do. Let me do all the maths, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we actually just completed another quest. I guess I didn't get it in the first time. kind of confused on that one. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and make the... We, we need to make the... What are they called? The Awakened Cores, and this requires five... Um, awakened Draconium Ingots and four Wyvern Cores per one. So if we need, just need four, and then we need, hold up, this could be easy. Yeah. Wait, hold up, I got a lot more than I thought. So. There we go, five each, perfect. Oh, we need 20. I am, I am a liar. Okay. So this. Should make it pretty easy to do. Again, these don't need to be in a certain spot, but it does help. Three, four, and five. And then it should go, ta-da, yep. And as you can see, this is charging a heck ton faster than need nearly the power as making the Awakened Draconium. And let's actually go get some cool fertilizer to go see. I think that'd be pretty cool. So, and what I'm talking about is coming over to the Awakened Draconian block and using this. I don't know if it'll work, but it might. But it might. Oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay. Okay. Kind of lame. Pretty lame. I mean, it works on everything else but that. Oh, and the Nether Star Seeds. I don't think it works on the Nether Star. Let's see. Let's see. Does this work on the Nether Star Seeds? Nope. Nope. Doesn't work on either. Okay. So I'm just going to have to farm it and throw it in our system, which is kind of lame. It's kind of lame. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're going to need to kill a total of 12 dragons just to do that. It's going to be crazy out of this world madness. Look at that. Chaotic Core. Or not Chaotic Core. Awakened Core. Chaotic Core is next. We should get a quest completion for that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Back here. Bam. 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 Okay. Let's open them up. Speed upgrades, not bad. <gasps> More. Yes. And, ooh, speed two. Cool. I love these. Those uh, flux ducts. Those are amazing. They are doing wonders because there's infinite power that can be transmutated through them. Transmutated? Okay. All right, we got another one. And I found something cool that we need to do in a few episodes. It's called Extreme Crafting. You guys are going to like it. It is nuts. But let me craft these up. I'll be right back. All right, so the next step is going to go ahead and be making these. We need four of them. <gasps> we don't have four. These things are the bane of my existence. They really are, and we're all out. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, our trip through the end is done. We got some more draconium, which is amazing. So we can go ahead and make up a few more of these, right? No. Wrong. And then, like so, yep, okay. So all four, and then what do we need? 
two, okay, and then two each. So we just need... Uh, ba -ba -da -ba. Is it just two each? So we need... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Right, we'll call it good. We'll call it good. And then we're going to go ahead and craft these bad boys up. Gonna go ahead and craft these bad boys up. All right. Put you in there, and there we go. Boom. Actually, go like this. Go like this. Go like this, and go like that. Oh, no. We need to upgrade our pedestals. <laughs> no. What? Oh, man. That stinks. So we need four. Okay, so we're going to have to fight the Ender Dragon a few more times. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. Next episode, we're going to go ahead and finish Draconic Evolution, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to like the button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and I'm out. Peace out. Bye-bye.